This is the most monumental and powerful PC build I've done so far. And it's gonna be my new gaming PC, let's go. Hey y'all, it's Butters, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, we are building my main gaming PC. I usually run a dual PC setup, so I have my streaming PC, but today is the gaming PC and we are going all in. Look at these parts. A cat's at the door, you wanna say hi? <laughs> Doesn't she look so excited to be here? What do you think of the PC build, Krista? Isn't this exciting? Let's talk about all the components super quick and then we'll get into the build. Wait, check it out there, Krista. Is that the RAM? Is that the sponsor for today's video? This video is sponsored by Crucial. Let's pop a squat and talk about them. Hey, before we jump into today's video, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor for today, Crucial. Crucial is known for its high quality and reliable RAM and SSD products. I am so excited to check out this RAM kit from them. This is the Crucial DDR5 Pro Memory Overclocking Edition. And can we take a moment to appreciate this design language for a second, it's just so sleek. It would match pretty much any build. This RAM has an origami inspired aluminum heat spreader design, speeds up to 6,000 mega transfers per second, 25% lower latency for a competitive edge during gameplay. It's Intel and AMD compatible and you can overclock it. A little nervous about overclocking and not sure what you have? Trust me, been there, done that. Crucial is launching the Crucial system scanner that safely scans your computer's hardware so you can see your current configuration and get recommendations to max out your memory and storage for optimal performance. As a creator, this has been incredible. It has saved me time and increased my productivity in gaming, recording, streaming, editing, the works. The Crucial DDR5 Pro Memory is a fantastic RAM kit for beginners and experts alike. I highly recommend this RAM kit. And thank you so much, Crucial, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Now let's go throw this RAM into my PC, shall we? Thank you so much, Crucial, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to build with this RAM. It's so clean, so pretty. I've already fangirled over it. RAM. There's also very clearly a theme with all of these parts. The ASUS ROG hooked it up majorly with a lot of the EVA parts. I am so unbelievably honored. Thank you so much. I I am so happy. Thank you, thank you. I'll be sure to do you guys proud with this build. For the motherboard, we have the ASUS ROG Maximus Z790 Hero EVA Edition motherboard. One of my favorite colors is red, so not only is this motherboard extremely powerful, it's also aesthetically pleasing for me. I love the color red, I love me some anime. It was a match made in heaven. Next. Cat, can you not sit in front of the light, please? Next up, we gotta talk about this RTX 4090, the EVA edition. What a glorious, beautiful card. Striking red, extremely powerful. Part of me wants to vertically mount this GPU, but honestly, you won't be able to see her if I do, so undecided. Honestly, there's a lot of things that I'm undecided about in this build. We'll get to it. Next up, keeping with the red theme, obviously, we have the ASUS ROG Ryujin 3 368 RGB EVA 02 edition AIO cooler. That is an extremely long name. It's red. It is red. I'm so excited about it. I have red components. Red and black is one of my favorite combinations ever for technology, so I'm excited to see this all together and working. You might be looking at this case here thinking, what the heck is that? This is our power supply. That's really heavy. This is the ASUS ROG Thor 1000 Watt Platinum EVA Edition power supply. Red and black. That's pretty much what you need to know. And obviously extremely powerful. I can't believe this power supply comes in this case. How robust, how fancy, just, and very heavy. I'm gonna put that back now. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. I just realized my CPU is not here on the table because it's actually being used in my other gaming PC. So I'm ripping some parts from that, but we are gonna be using the Intel Core 14th Gen i9-14900K. That CPU has genuinely increased my productivity. I can't wait to see how it works with the RAM as well. And with all of these parts, obviously, this is gonna be a really powerful build. I'm kind of terrified, but not really. For storage, I do have storage in my other PC that I will be taking out, but for now, I definitely wanna install this one. This is the SK Hynix Platinum P41 SSD. It's just an M.2, two terabytes. I meant to install this in the other PC, but I just saved it for this build. It, it's boring story. I'm using it now. Before we talk about this, let's talk about the power supply cables I'm going to be using because it's weird and I know it is. All right, hear me out. I know I'm going to get a lot of divisive opinions about the color I've chosen for the power supply cables, but if you guys know me, I'm a big fan of a maximalist vibe with my PCs and any of my technology. If you've seen any of my past gaming setups, I'm all about the noise. I'm all about the color. I'm all about the high contrast. I love combining different assets and different colors that don't quite work together, but somehow making them work. Therefore, I want to try out these blue power supply cables. I know orange and green is kind of the go-to for this set, but her eyes are blue. 
I think it'll be fun. I think it'll look cool in my setup, and that's what I care about. And to better complement these blue power supply cables, we have this little GPU bracket. Well, I guess they call it a graphics card holder. It's the EVA edition. I believe it's RGB, so I'm planning on hopefully making it blue. I think it'll tie all the colors together, especially because I can't use a blue power supply cable for this graphics card, I don't think. Or actually, can I? I don't know. I have a lot to learn today, and I'm taking you guys along for the ride. I haven't even talked about the case yet. Oh my gosh, NZXT. They sent me the H9 Flow. That was so nice of them. I saw a full build on display at Micro Center using this PC case and I became obsessed immediately. It's so clean. I love how the glass comes together at an angle there. It gives me a very much a uh, fish tank vibe, which I believe is very trendy in PC building right now, but hey, I'm all about it. And I chose white because like I said, I like combining different assets and creative things that don't quite make sense together, but I'm going to make them work somehow. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Is that everything? I do have some Corsair fans on the way. Corsair, thank you guys so much for sending me fans for a couple of my builds. These are the ones that I'm hopefully gonna put into this PC build. They're just on the way right now. They're currently being shipped. <laughs> All that being said, it is time to finally build. I have my iFixit kit here. I have the wow stick, my electric screwdriver. Let's get to it, shall we? I'm intimidated, but it's gonna be fine. This PC is gonna turn out incredible. I already know it. And friendly reminder, if you have long hair, Put it up when you're building your PC, okay? Trust me, just do it. Time to build and we start with the motherboard. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's beautiful. We're gonna start with installing the CPU. Y'all have seen this before, so I'll just go ahead and run through it really quick. You pick up this little lever. Let me make sure my arm isn't in the way. This lever right here, you pick it up. You pull this back and line this up accordingly. Don't mind the thermal paste that's on it, okay? I've been putting this CPU to work, but you put it into the socket. I've been told if you push down this very slowly, the CPU cover might pop off, so let's try. Oh, that wasn't really much of a pop. Sometimes it'll just like clear this, it like goes sky high. I learned that recently. By the way, save these. I don't know if this is like a PC building tutorial, not really. I'm just building my gaming PC, but we put this down like so. And there you go. Next up, we install the RAM and we have 64 gigs of this crucial RAM. And guess what? They go into all four slots. You don't have to wonder which slots they go into. RAM installed. Next up, I'm grabbing the CPU cooler and grabbing the bracket that goes on the back. How do you guys prefer PC build videos? Do you guys prefer when somebody like sits down and walks you through it? Do you prefer mostly B-roll with voiceover? Let me know, what is going on with this box? <laughs> the kinds of videos that I've been enjoying as of recently have been people just walking through and talking while they're doing things. So that's how I'm gonna do today's video. Let me know if you like it. Here is the block and the Radiator. Bracket, 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 bracket. Yeah, we're good. What is going on here? <laughs> I was saying something in regards to safety. I'm installing the uh, bracket for the cooler, by the way. In case y'all didn't know, I actually worked as a service technician at Fry's Electronics, and I learned a very important thing about safety when it comes to putting up your hair. I used to wear my hair down all the time when I worked, and you know, it was fine for a bit until I really got inside of PCs and I got my hair stuck in a PC case fan. Definitely not pleasant. My hair started getting coiled up into the fan. It was a not good situation. Thankfully, I was able to power off the PC before it got worse. But I definitely learned a valuable lesson. Uh, throw your hair up, but I didn't learn well enough. I ended up putting my hair up in a high ponytail and it almost got caught again one time. And that's when I said, enough is enough. I'm putting my hair in a bun. So from that day forward, I wore my hair in a bun whenever I worked, looking like a little librarian. There we go. Okay, M.2, where to? Here? This board is so gorgeous. Look, this is already peeled off. This has been tested. I should mention this uh, board and everything has been tested. I'm actually gonna throw two SSD into this build. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this one. It was in my last gaming PC, focus please. It's a 970 EVO Plus. I think I wanna use this for the operating system and the other one for video files and editing and whatnot. I believe everything is Gen 4 throughout the entire board, so it should be perfectly fun. I think it's gonna run great. In you go, down you go, twisty do. And there we have it. Now we're gonna put this one right here. Oh, you could put two! That's a pleasant surprise. Look at all those thermal pa- Oh, go ahead with yourself, Asus ROJ. I might end up taking this SSD and putting it into my streaming PC, but for now, we'll put it here. We'll figure it out. I feel like I am now just realizing in my life that I am allowed to flip-flop components around in my PCs. So depending on what I need, get in there, hello? There we go. I forget what I was saying. I run a dual PC setup. I'm gonna learn to flip flop components around depending on what I need in the future. And that is all I wanna say about that. Motherboard is prepped, moving on. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, it is misspelled. Evangelion. I'm so glad I got the misspelled board, let's go. Come on.
Taking apart new PC cases scares me a lot. Normally this is stuff I would edit out, but not today. Here we go. What I like about this PC case, it gives me fishbowl vibes, like a fish tank, but also the power supply mounts in the back here, if you can see that. And let's get the motherboard in here. And as per every PC build that I do, I do corner, 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 just because that is a force of habit. I've always done that so that the PC components don't just like lay flat like that. They go down more even. I said this in pretty much every PC build that I've done. <laughs> You're so fluffy, how do you do it? <laughs> You're so goofy looking. <laughs> Why do you look like that? You're so cute. She stole my chair, but she can have it. I'm just gonna roll you out of the way, okay? <laughs> Next up, I wanna go ahead and plug in the front panel connector, so let's do that. Oh, the front panel connector one isn't a bunch of tiny ones. It's only one big one, that's awesome. Front panel all in one go, right there. You didn't even see it, my camera didn't focus. It's okay. <laughs> Let me make sure y'all see me plug in something. HD audio is gonna go right here. And actually, I do plan on replacing these fans, so I might go ahead and take them out right now. This is gonna take a while, so how's everyone's day? <laughs> That's one fan down, but my day's been pretty good so far. Well, I mean, it's really good now that I'm building a PC, let's be real. Especially one with parts like this. So I've seen a little bit of Eva, but not as much as I have wanted to. I definitely want to binge it one of these days. Now that I have the parts, I definitely want to. But I will tell you, I am an anime fan at heart. I was a Toonami kid, big time. Evangelion definitely would have been a series that I would have gotten into and loved, but it's a little dark, so I don't think my parents would have let me watch that one. But what I do know about Asuka's character is that she is very um, hot-headed, seems to have very little patience, definitely not a very gentle personality. I'm excited to watch some more Eva though and see how her character evolves. Should I install the other fans right now? Probably. We're doing these Corsair fans, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm unboxing this and it all comes out in one piece. That's amazing. I think I want to have him go this way. I feel like I'm kind of zip zooming through this PC build. I apologize. Uh, I'm just, I'm really eager to get this done. I want to use it. Parts have been sitting around for way too long. I think I'll plug these in in a little bit. For now, I just want to get them installed. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the AIO, but I'm not going to use the fans that come with this AIO. I'm actually going to put on more Corsair fans. <laughs> I know white fans might look really weird on this cooler, but that's kind of the goal. I want this to be very mismatched. I want people to feel confused when they look at my build. I want them to think, what, what theme was she going for? What color scheme was she going for? Exactly. The more confusion, the better. This cat stole my chair. Whatever. I guess it's more so your chair, isn't it? You can have the stool. She claimed it. She sits next to me all the time when I'm gaming. <laughs> She's so cute. Are you done? She's done. I can have the stool back. It's like she understands what I'm saying. I'm going to have this mounted like this in the case. Block on there. Look at this block. Look at these freaking components, dude. Do I have to screw down all of these when they all click in? Probably not. Am I going to? We'll see. There we have it. No, we don't. I have one more screw. <laughs> two more screws. Oh my God, I missed that. That would make sense with having two screws left over. Oh dear, Hannah. I know you're excited about getting the PC build done, but do it right. Okay, currently doing some research on how many fans I can connect to this one hub. I think I can only use one, which is great. But I've also decided I've changed my mind on how I want these AIO tubes to go. I was gonna originally do this way, but I think I wanna flip it around and I'm gonna take out this fan in the back, which means I have to flip these fans around. Hey, post-production butters here. What are you doing? You don't have to flip the fans around, Hannah. There's no cables that you have to cable manage through the back. But guess what she's about to do? She's gonna unscrew those fans and flip them around. Watch this transformation, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I didn't even notice until I watched the recording. Flipping the fans around didn't do shit. It was 3 a.m. I was so tired, I didn't know. Oh my gosh, that edit is so unironically funny. I'm crying. Okay, moving on. Before I put the radiator in here, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the CPU power cables up here just for easier cable management. I'm also taking out the hard drive bay because I'm not gonna have a hard drive in this. Let's work on the AIO next. I'm really glad I have these flexible power cable extensions because this is a tight fit and I'm starting to regret my decision, <laughs> but we'll see. 
that'll work for now. Now for thermal paste, I'm using some Thermal Grizzly CPU. That is where this would go. <laughs> and actually, I learned an entirely new way to apply thermal paste. Apparently, I've not been putting enough. If I were to demonstrate on my phone, it would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that is a way to make the thermal paste spread as evenly as possible on a rectangular shape. When CPUs were square, the one in the middle made sense. It don't know more. I learned. I learned that recently with building a PC with Robitech, so I'll leave that video down below. Let me make sure I have this completely focused. Look at that painting. <laughs> It's not my best work, but it'll work. When I first did this method, I thought, oh my gosh, that is so much thermal paste. Why are we doing this? But then I actually took the CPU cooler off and it spread over the entire CPU. So it made sense. It looks odd, but it makes complete sense. I'm just gonna take this off for now. <laughs> that is so much better. And remember friends, not too tight on the actual CPU itself. Just make sure everything's wrist tight. Looks good. You can put that. Back on top. Before I plug in the fans and the CPU cooler, let's go ahead and do the power supply. This bag looks like it's been through it. Just a friendly reminder that this was all tested before it was sent to me. So this is all open box, essentially. Oh, these are cool. I like these a lot. I don't know if I'll use them, but they're cool. Look at how beautiful this power supply is. Oh, that's so pretty. Too bad it's gonna be in the back where we can't see it. Ooh, look at these cables. Those would look good too. CPU. Is this one of the fancy ones for the graphics card? I actually don't know. We'll put it to the side. Six pin for the RGB hub. Another CPU. Big boy power cable. I do need this one for the graphics card. Has a nice little shelf for it to sit on. I love that. I forgot to show this, but remember this GPU sag bracket that I brought up? I don't know if I want it sitting on fans. I didn't know it operated like this, so I don't know if I'll be able to use this. I'm gonna think on it, but for now, we won't. Now I'm working on chaining all the fans to this one header. It can carry 14 devices, seven on each side. So this side, I have the three fans up front. This side, I'm gonna have the other fans as well. And it's gonna be powered here on this cable and then plugged into the motherboard here. It's super complicated, but I think I got it figured out. I'm proud of myself. Here's my cable management if y'all want to make fun of me. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know if this is working yet, so I'm not zip tying anything yet. So without zip tying, this is actually not half bad. It's pretty bad. Actually, once I put this door back on, phenomenal, kind of. Look at this masterpiece of a graphics card. Isn't she glorious? Just the colors, everything about her. The red, so striking. We will be installing her. My camera is about to die. Let's see if I can install this GPU before that happens. <laughs> what a satisfying click. Look at how pretty. My camera is on 4%. Let's go ahead and give this a power on. I just need to see if it works. Three, two, one, please. Front panel connectors got disconnected. Different outlet. There we go, it's getting power now. It was just the outlet. I knew it too. All right, ready? Three, two, one. That's powering on. Fan spinning, fan spinning. <gasps> the top fans aren't working though. Did I plug them in? I don't think I did. Holy sh! Oh, I feel so happy right now, yay! Let me get the top fans working really quick. All right, take two with all the fans working. Go. I don't know if we're getting a post, but I don't see any errors, so I think we're looking good, y'all. And my camera's about to. I'm not, I'm not gonna put that on video. That's bad. <laughs> That's the best peel yet. Hi, cat. Truth be told, I broke out in a sweat with all those peels, but shall we go ahead and power on the PC? It's time. Show me the RGB. There's the RGB. Maybe if I log in. Can I log in without a monitor? Let's see. I did it. Let's go. This is definitely the most powerful PC build I've done to date. And I gotta tell you, I thought it would be more complicated. No. Four RAM sticks, easy. Nine RGB fans, 
Easy. The lack of cables is amazing. Power supply cable extensions, easy. And the red and the blue combo. Can we just take a look? I know that this aesthetic is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but for me, this looks straight up like a fish tank. I'd love to add some more red down the line. Not too sure how to do that yet, but I love the color combination. It's so loud, it's so weird. This PC brings me so much joy to look at, which is the most important because I am the one who's gonna be using it. A couple of things I did learn in this build. In the back here with these Corsair fans, I actually had them upside down so the Corsair logo was upside down, so I had to flip-flop them. I thought the fans would spin. No, they're they're not intake, so they wouldn't have, they would not spin. They are stuck, so I had to flip, yes. As for the graphics card holder, this one works fine for now. Um, I, you know, with putting fans on the bottom, I didn't really take into account how a GPU holder like this would fit in there. I would love to put this into my build, but I don't know how I feel about putting it on top of some fans, so I'm gonna hold off. Y'all comment down below and let me know. Do you all know if putting this on top of the fans if that's gonna cause too much problem. I couldn't find any answers online, so I figured, well, let's just play it safe. I'll go with this one. It's small, it's minimal, and it's red. Oh, and obviously down the line, I'm gonna be changing out this power cable that goes into the GPU. I don't think they make custom colored ones yet. This is a relatively new uh, piece of technology, so I don't know. It's up for change. All I know is this is a fantastic, beautiful build that I am so excited to build onto for years to come. It's my gaming PC. It's gonna be my editing rig. I'm gonna do so much recording, so much productivity on this build. Yes. But let me know what you guys think. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the entire build, the parts. Did you learn something new? I also want to give a huge shout out to Crucial for sponsoring this video. I am so excited to use this RAM. I have 64 gigs of RAM. Four RAM sticks, I've never had that in my life, and look at how sleek it is. I'm shaking the table, calm down, Hannah. And also, huge shout out to Intel, Asus ROG, Corsair, and NZXT for providing some parts too. Thank you guys so much, I'm so lucky. I will always do my best to provide and spread the joy that is PC building. And friendly reminder, I do have some more PC builds coming up soon. I run a dual PC setup, I have the gaming PC, now I gotta get the streaming PC in order. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, that's all I've got. Like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video whatever I make. Bye 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 I have to go now. I must play this and experience the joys of this build. I'm so excited about it. It's pretty. What do you think, Connie? Her ear's flicking. I don't think she cares too much. Hi.